So let's go ahead and I'm going to close this just because it's big and select week four and right click and create a new PHP file. And I'll call this names.php. And the place I'm going to start is um, with the, the get method parameters that are going to be passed in. So I'm going to define some constants. So I'm going to have a year, which is going to be passed in. And I'm also going to pass in a gender. And I'm also going to pass in a count. So this is going to be the year that I want to know the popular names from, whether I want male names or female names, and how many names I want, top 10, top 50, and so on. And then I'm also going to define some more constants for ranges and, and sets of values. So I'm going to have min year, which is 1880. So that's the first year I have data on. And max year, and that's going to be 2014. It's the last year I have data for. And then I'm going to define some gender values. So gender male is going to be M, and gender female is going to be F, these single quotes here. And then for count, I'm also going to have a constant for all. So it's going to be the string all. So let's go ahead and do some input validation. If not is set dollar sign under get sub year, then I want to write an error message. So this time I'm going to be just a little tiny bit fancier with my error message than before. I'm going to echo a level one header that says error. And I'll put a backslash n in there. And then I'm also going to echo the type of error. So they'll put that in the paragraph tag. Error must be supplied. And another backslash n. And then I'll exit. So that's making sure the year is set, and then I also want to make sure the gender is set. And then I'll do the same thing for count. So that's guaranteeing that they've been passed in. And now let's make sure they're legal values. So let's set year equal to dollar sign under get year. And we'll set gender equal dollar sign under get gender. And we'll set count equal dollar sign under get count. And as long as I'm remembering, I'm going to go ahead and follow PSR2 by putting a space in here. As I said, I often forget that. So let's make sure that the year is valid. So first, let's make sure it's a number. Not is numeric. So if the year is not a number, Let's, I'll put an error. So year must be a number. 
And then let's do the same thing for count, make sure that's either a number or count under all. So if is not is numeric count and count not equal count all. That means it's not a legal value. Count must be a number or all. And then gender has to be male or female. So that's gender male or gender female. So if gender not equal gender female and gender not equal gender male, then I'll put an error about that. So I could also have written that using the switch statement because there's only two values. But I'm going to leave it as an if statement here. So now that I know that I have a numeric year and a valid count, let's make sure the year is in the right range. So if dollar sign year less than min year or dollar sign year greater than max year. That means it's out of range. So let's go ahead and I'll put an error message for that as well. So year must be between. And I'm going to go ahead and I put the min year. And that way, if I get more data files, I just need to change that in one place. So year must be between 1880 and 2014, exclamation point. So now I know that I'm in good shape and that all my data is valid.